The Swanky Pride Park is the venue for Play of the Legends' third match of 2017. Derby County's Gary Rowett is the Rams boss who guided them to ninth place in the championship this season. Built in 1997 with a capacity of just under 34,000, the Play with the Legends stars are ready to showcase their skills on this first-rate ground. Next, Derby County legends Craig Ramage and Seth Johnson will be the skippers. Well, Seth Johnson, 38 years of age, and Craig Ramage, 47 years of age, leading these two sides out there. Seth Johnson to your left, wearing blue, and Craig Ramage wearing yellow. On this wonderful... Pride Park Stadium is hosting this Play With The Legends game. And the two sets of players do pre-game handshakes. I'm sure nerves are tingling out there. The pitch is a little bit greasy. The weather is super for football. It should be a really magnificent game. What a wonderful picture that is for these players. Getting warmed up. Both sides are playing a 4-4-2 formation. Uh, the yellows will be going from left to right, the blues from right to left. And the referee will be Steve Kirk, lineswoman will be Kay Sidhu, and linesman will be Daniel MacDonald. The two skippers, Craig Ramage and Seth Johnson, ready to go. 90 minutes of super action coming up. There's the goalkeeper for the yellows, Sutton. Just marking out his territory. The Blues coming forward. Going from right to left. Going towards the north stand. Yellow's going towards the south stand. We're calling this game from the Toyota West stand. Here's an attack. Right foot shot. Drilled in low and hard but goes wide. It was Machin there for the Blues. Managed by Johnson. Good long kick there by Mullis, the goalkeeper. Ramage showing, oh, deft touches there, beautifully done. Now here's Roberts. Oh, beautifully done. Wonderful play on his right foot. Here's an opportunity. It's Vaughan. Oh, what a finish. That is real class. From the 27-year-old Wolverhampton Sporting Community player. Look at this from Roberts. And there the cross. Wonderful, and they're on the volley. Well, Vaughan, the number 10, scores the game's first goal after just six minutes. Look at that as a finish. Real class. 1 0 to the Yellows. Clifford coming forward again on this right hand side. Left foot volleys it in. Vaughan with a header, that's going to cause problems for the goalkeeper. It has, and he hasn't kept it out. It's 2 0. And Vaughan is claiming it. That's his second goal in just 12 minutes. It was a powerful header. And then Mullis just couldn't get it out from his grasp. And it fell in just over that line. He'll be disappointed with that. 2 0. His cribbit. Nice touch. Roberts flying down this right-hand side. Oh, beautifully done. Nice inside ball. Maxwell. Oh, that's a lovely finish from outside the penalty area. Brilliant play from Brendan Maxwell. Planted it in the back of the net. Well, that's something he's got in his locker. Look at that as a finish. Giving Mullis no chance. It's three goals to nil. He'll be delighted with that. The yellow's really taking this game by the scruff of the neck. Ramage, great ball, Vaughan, chest it down. Left foot shot, not a bad one either. Marshall there for the yellows. Probably wanted a hit on his right. De Niro did well, but uh, yellow's now on the attack. Ramage just slows things down beautifully. Here's Roberts, who's got a bit of pace. Goes forward, nice ball, lovely touch from Vaughan. Here's a left foot opportunity. Vaughan finishes. Really good play from the Yellows. But Vaughan was there. A poacher's goal this time. It's Todd for the Blues. Over the halfway line. Driving forward now. The 
foot shot. Trickles to the goalkeeper. Sutton. That was Wood there having a drive from about 20 yards. Todd going forward again. It's a good pass. Finding Landy on that right hand side. Blues really not giving up hope. It's a really good cross. But neither Taylor couldn't get there. But uh, Landy's causing problems with his crosses into the box. It's De Niro. Good ball finding Todd. Oh, he's battling for it. Right for shot. Oh, he drilled it in hard. Good goalkeeping from Sutton. Todd's looked lively. Todd again going forward. And he goes down. And the referee has said play on. The Blues, really good chance. And the Yellows should be able to clear though from there. Roberts now. Has plenty of time on the ball. Slows things down. Finds Ramage. Incredible fitness for a 47 year old. Oh, Vaughan. Yes, that's a free kick. Shoulder barge, a little bit too strong. De Niro with a free kick. What a way out. Right foot. Oh, the goalkeeper had to do well. Bounced just before him and cleared for a throw in. Yusuf De Niro did well. Sutton played so far in this first half with plenty of ability but the Blues not giving up it's an opportunity goes over the bar Young well he did everything else right it's finished half time 4-0 to the Yellows the second half now of this match here at Pride Park Stadium is Ramage going forward for the Yellows the former Derby County Watford star and the yellow is going forward now it's a really good ball finding Vaughan he's just offside though already scored a hat-trick in the first half Amage again he's dictating everything through midfield good play from the yellows knocking the ball around with Really good amount of skill, his Vaughan. Knocks it back, that's a lovely ball. And that's a fine finish. That makes it 5-0, it's Brendan Maxwell. That's his second goal. Well, he certainly knows how to finish. The 51-year-old, again, just outside the penalty area. Right foot shot, no chance for the goalkeeper, Worthington. Really lovely finish. And there's Ramage, well, pleased with that himself. Worthington to Landy, the Blues certainly have had opportunities in the first half. Scoreline certainly flattering the Yellows. And he gives it away. Here's a chance. Oh, would you believe it? Oh, he's missed this time. Vaughan would have been easier to score. He slammed the post. the yellows again here's an opportunity oh it's going to go over the goalkeeper this time it is another goal it's Ryan Bevan who scored got a bit of luck went over the goalkeeper who made a good initial save unlucky the Blues and Ryan Bevan gets on the score sheet 6-0 the yellows really coming forward exposing this Blues defence now here's Roberts Holds it up, turns it back, shot comes in, rebounds, Todd gets it away for the Blues, going towards the south stand here at Pride Park Stadium, this Play With The Legends game. Well it's equaled the Play With The Legends all time greatest scoreline so far. We've still got the majority of the second half to go, the Blues coming forward though, they're not giving up. Balls knocked into the penalty area, here's an effort, oh and a good save from the goalkeeper Sutton. Who's impressed? 
Good goalkeeping. Wouldn't have seen much of that. Here's Landy now. On that trusted right foot of his. Knocks it in. Oh, what a good header. Hits the bar. Unlucky, the Blues. It's, uh, I do believe it's Young who's headed that against the bar. Oh, it's Machen, actually. Oh, really good effort. Wonderful pass from Landy and Machen. Really great header. Yellows, though, coming forward. Here's Vaughan. Oh, lovely play. Lovely touch. Will he go around the goalkeeper? Yes, he does. And he finishes. And he makes it 7-0. What a personal achievement for him. But look at this. Just had the pace. And there, he just had the skill to beat the goalkeeper, Worthington, and slots it into the back of the net. Simple finish. But a finely worked goal. Well, Seth Johnson's side, the Blues, up against it now. The former Leeds United and Derby County midfield player sitting in the middle of the pipe, but he can't do much now as the yellow's going forward. Here's Roberts again on his right foot. What's he going to do? Oh, he slammed it in the back of the net. Well, he's deserved a goal, Roberts. He's supplied so many of them. And that is a really confident finish. Worthington, no chance again. Ben Roberts, wonderful goal. 8-0. Here's Landy for the Blues. Mullis, who played in goal in the first half, flicks it forward. Good play there from Taylor. But the Yellows have it. Trying to get it outside their own half. His opportunity for Mullis. It's a good ball. That's another good save from the goalkeeper. And that was from Taylor for the Blues that time. Well, Sutton has denied the Blues so many times as the Yellows come forward on a counter-attack. Oh, this is another chance. Would you believe it? Vaughan has only got another goal. He plays in step six non-league football. Former Coventry youth player. That got uh, rejected at 16. And now 27. He's scoring goals for fun tonight. Really good play from Roberts. Unselfish. Is Seth Johnson, who no longer is involved in uh, professional football. He's in injury at 27, could tell his career. But the yellow is coming forward again. It's a good cross. Oh, it's a wonderful finish. And a really, really good piece of play from the yellows. Marshall's cross. And there it was. Simple but well guided header. Here's the Blues. Here's Mullis on that right foot of his. Now switches to his left. Really good effort just wide of the right hand post. Well, they've done everything they possibly could to get back into this game, but luck is not on their side for the Blues. Ramage. Lovely three ball. And that's a really good finish. Good play from Jack Shields. Craig Ramage showing all his experience there, guarding the ball forward. But look at this acute angle. And a sublime finish. Well, wow, what a victory. This is going to be for the Yellows. But will the Blues get back into this game? Well, they score a goal. Ball comes into the penalty area. It's a goal mouth scramble. And it's gone in! Oh, it's a deserved goal for Leighton Machen, who hit the crossbar earlier on in this second half. But this time, there's the goal mouth scramble coming up. Machen always aware. And that's our volley and a fine finish inside the six yard box. Good play from the Blues. They've deserved that. They deserve so much more. Seth Johnson there with a wry smile. Yellow still coming forward though. Goal hungry. Oh, here's an opportunity and that is a simple finish. And that is another goal. And it's Ryan Bevan 
who scored to make it 12-1. Forward on their right hand side. Good ball, here's Mullis. Oh, and another super save. I thought that was gonna trickle in, but the ball went wide at the right hand post. So unlucky the Blues, corner. And here's a counter attack. This will expose the Blues defense who came up for that corner. Oh, great run from Roberts. Gliding past players. Driving forward into the penalty area. Has a shot, goalkeeper Wellington saves. Here's Ramage. Oh, he'd be delighted with that. Uh, that's a wonderful bit of play from Roberts. And Ramage gets a goalie so desperately craved. 13-1. Here's the yellows again. Vaughan to Marshall this time and he'll put it in the back of the net to 14-1. Well, Vaughan was happy to ha help out Marshall there for a goal after the striker did so much work for Vaughan to get his six tonight. Here's Mullis for the Blues going forward. De Niro, lovely skill from him. Oh, he goes down, that's a penalty for sure. Referee, no doubt about that, Steve Cook. And De Niro, who's, despite the score line, has impressed in midfield. Look at this, lovely turn. And he just brought down there inside the penalty area. Here he is, De Niro, penalty. Oh, good finish. Sutton, the goalkeeper, he went the right way, but he couldn't get it. It was a perfectly taken penalty right near that right hand post really good finish 14 goals to two the blues have got their second from the spot the yellows though seconds to go is vaughan really good ball on that right hand side running marshall lovely cross is vaughan and he goes down and Steve Cook the referee has said that's another penalty well this will be the last kick of the game and it's Cribbit who's going to take it they've just agreed Cribbit who's played in midfield and defence th this afternoon here he goes oh he's finished it and there it is Steve Cook blows the whistle it's a yellows 15 the blues 2 but it was a much more evenly game than that Andy, when you came on, you made a difference to the Blues, who were struggling. Um, well, that's very kind of you, yeah. I just want to get on and play and enjoy it like everyone else is doing. So, Ben, uh, you, you're a good player, aren't you? Well, I'd like to think so, but i surprised myself. We don't play for two years. But, uh, it's the first 45 I've played for, for two years, so I stopped playing. Um, I miss it, but work-wise, it's, you know, it's difficult, but I enjoy playing. And it's the first time I've played here, it's like on Derby fans as well. So. so, some details first, Matt. Who do you play for? play for Wolverhampton Sporting Community. We're in the sixth tier or seventh tier, I think. So in, in below the non-league, semi-professional. Semi uh, and what happened to your proposed <laughs> professional career? Coventry Youth, you mentioned. Yeah, just released at 16. Not good enough, I suppose. <laughs> and I think you've scored, I think, seven goals or between yeah. five and seven tonight. That's, uh, you, you, in, you enjoyed that tonight, didn't you? Yeah, it was enjoyable. Some of the, some of the play was good. The balls were put in there and luckily I scored a couple or a few. Yeah. On this pitch as well? It's a pleasure. It's a great great place to play. I haven't played here before, so it's nice to tick one off. Played at a few. Just once a year we play at a Premier League ground with our company, Amber Windows, and it's, uh, it's another one to tick off and it's, it's nice to get some goals. It must be great to play with Craig. He's 47. Yeah, 20 years older than me. He don't look 47 now. I feel 47. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, what an extraordinary game. Yeah, it was fantastic, wasn't it? I've got to rub it in a little bit, you know. Mm. Unlucky, sir. <laughs> Seth, you're going back to uh, Torquay tonight, uh, a broken man? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I might have to stop off and uh, find an off licence somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> might have to leave my car tonight, I think, after that. But you look like you still enjoyed it. And you still got that sweet left foot, haven't you? Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's, yeah. Always, it's always nice to play here and come back. But, uh, yeah, disappointing result. But I'm, I'm sure the boys who played uh, enjoyed playing here today. Craig, you so wanted to score. Did you in the end? Because yes, I lost I count. Know. Yeah, I managed to get one. A little tapping. It didn't pass to him. It was a little bit of a rebound, but I managed to put it in. But <laughs> it's taking part in it. You know, the 
seeing the lads and um, really enjoyed themselves tonight. And obviously, we're, you know, we're a pleasure to be invited. And, Really enjoyed it, especially at this place, haven't we? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It is a, a um, sort of a play with a legend record, 15-2, by the way. <laughs> is it? Oh. I don't want to rub it in, Seth. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, see, I'm definitely stopping off. I'll no. take that. <laughs> I'll stop off with you yeah, and cheers, celebrate. Cheers, but really. I must say, that even the Blues guys that did lose, they really enjoyed playing with you two tonight. So, I mean, you, you put your heart and soul into this game, didn't you? Yeah, well, you know, we put what we could in. I'm, uh, yeah, put my belly into it. Yeah, but it was, uh, it was nice, enjoyable, but just a disappointing result. And rolling back the years, it must be lovely to come and play on this hollowed turf as well. It's it? just great to put the boots on again. Um, obviously, we're not getting any younger, are we? No, we're not. Um, so to get these, to get asked to do this, it's a pleasure. And yeah, we're breathing a little bit um, <laughs> for a few holes, but we're, <laughs> we're, we'll survive and we'll patch ourselves up tomorrow. Yeah. But yeah, we really enjoyed it. We'll, we'll, Never mind the score. We'll beat them in the bar now. Yeah. You enjoy your drinks. You deserve it. Yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. Thanks.